I think about the time I spent in New Mexico a lot. I think about how much the desert sparkles at sunset, geodes as far as the eye can see. I think about how the sparkles on the ground transformed into sparkles in the sky, and just how clearly I could see the cosmos. Laying out in the back of my grandpa's pickup truck, tracking a satellite all the way across the sky. It was culture shock for sure, coming from one of the most diverse cities in the country to a town of less than 3,000 in the boot hill of southern New Mexico. The only faces of color I ever saw were Latinx and indigenous people. No Asian people, no black folks, no Middle Easterns, more churches than there were people, and two ghost towns right on the outskirts. I immediately befriended the other weird kid in class, Aaron. She was feisty, and she didn't allow others to bully me. She was one of the first friends I ever had to push back against a dickhead for me. In later years, I'd recall these moments and times I was using my own voice to protect someone vulnerable. That show of bravery altered my perceptions for life. The city was named Lordsburg, and it lived up to its name. My mom and I felt like we were the only non-Christians in town. Ironically, it's where I met my first girlfriend, Jenny. She was a pastor's daughter. Bluest eyes and the blondest hair you've ever seen. So sweet, so goofy. People even called this Forrest and Jenny. I already knew I was gay when Jenny and I started dating, but being a sixth grader in 1996, you were trained to believe you were going to rot for being gay. As soon as Jenny asked me out, I said yes. My first beard, my first real proof to other boys that I was a man. We'd go to the youth rodeo together, hand in hand, all the while I was looking at the cowboys. I also lost my grandmother to cancer in New Mexico. We brought in a medical bed so she could live in the living room. I watched her waste away as home care nurses attended to her every need. She stayed sassy to the very end, but when we lost her, I also lost my entire familial unit. My mom and I were alone. I was only there for 20 months. I know it was just a blip in time. 20 months passes in no time for me nowadays. But that time was so defining to my character, to my outlook, to my soul. I look back at Lordsburg with such fondness, but it has sepia tones in my memory. Almost like it was an older movie I watched and not the amazing adventure I know I lived. When I feel lost, I look back to those geodes flickering in the sunset and I feel enveloped by the warmth of that endless desert. I feel safe.